I'm the kind of guy, as long as there's breath in my body, I'm going to push you. I'm going to push you to be the church. And so around here, if that means we start more campuses, then by golly, we're going to start more campuses. If that means that we need to send more money overseas so our brothers and sisters in Christ who don't have permanent facilities can have a permanent facility to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, we'll send more money overseas to get that done. If that means we got to bake some cookies and go across the street to get to know our neighbors so we can invite them to come to church, I know you're the kind of people that are going to get it done. If that means we leverage some of our time, our energy, our money for the things of God, for the kingdom of God, I know that you will step up and you'll do it. You know what my prayer for you has been? Is that tomorrow morning when you wake up, Satan says, oh, crud. He's coming for me. You bet I'm coming for you. I'm coming for everything you've taken. I'm kicking down the very gates of hell. And I'm going to make you sweat, Satan. With the prayers that I pray and the money that I give and the time that I serve, you need to be very aware that there's a church in Albuquerque, New Mexico, that cares deeply for the things of God and desires to leave this world in better shape than the way we found it. We're not going to sit on the sidelines and watch someone else do what needs to be done. We're going to be that rare church where people actually are the church and aren't satisfied with just attending. Come on, friend, help me. Help me kick down the gates of hell. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, don't let us settle for anything less than in our life. 